the fan in me has some feelings about these guys, and the analyst in me has some other feelings about these guys. What's up? This is Tom. Let's talk about this. Uh, you know, the, the rotation is going to continue to evolve. Unfortunately, we're here in lockout, um, and the only guy that the Twins have added to a rotation that's in a world of need is Dylan Bundy. Uh, yet another guy who did not throw triple-digit innings in 2021, um, you know, and didn't pitch well on top of that. Uh, but we're going to focus on those two guys I mentioned. And again, you know, the fan perspective on me is very excited about Joe Ryan and Bailey Ober. These are two guys who, you know, I like them because they're on the Twins. <laughs> that certainly helps. But I like the way these guys pitch as well. I think these are uh, fun guys to watch pitch. They're very aggressive pitchers. They throw a lot of strikes. Uh, and it's with their fastballs a lot too. So uh, it's kind of interesting to see that these days. We saw sort of a different approach from Kenta Maeda. Uh, in 2020 when he was so good. Um, so it's kind of cool to see some guys doing some different things. And the way these guys pitch, it takes a lot of moxie, I feel like. It takes a lot of belief in your game plan, belief in your stuff. And I think that's really fun to watch. I kind of feel like some people are kind of bargaining now <laughs> that we're in lockout. The Twins haven't done much with the rotation. People are kind of, well, you know, they, they've got uh, they've, they've got a good foundation there. You know, they've got something going. And it's like... I, I honestly, I feel like we have no idea. Um, you know, Bailey Ober was was very good in his debut. It was only 20 starts. Joe Ryan was very good in his debut. It was five starts. We're talking about a combined 25 starts between these guys. Um, and, you know, everybody's different. Every You know, these, these I'm going to compare them to a couple former twins. These guys, you know, they're not carbon copies. They pitch differently. They're from a little bit of a, a different time period. Um, but... You know, as many guys as there are like Barrios who came up and struggled and then kind of righted the ship, it seems like there are quite a bit of pitchers these days that come up and find some success and then fade away. And you don't have to look that far back to find these guys. You don't even have to look to other organizations because there's two guys who were with the Twins not long ago at all who compare pretty favorably uh, to these two guys' point in their careers. And that's, you know, Bailey Ober, you look at his first 20 starts. How differently do those... Uh, numbers from his first 20 starts look from like Adalberto Mejia. Uh, not incredibly differently. Adalberto Mejia was looking like a, a definite long-term uh, solution to the rotation there for a minute uh, before his career completely fizzled out. And, you know, Joe Ryan looking good in five starts. Do you remember Fernando Romero, how good he looked his first five starts? Um, you know, he was looking like, you know, we were thinking he was an ace you know, after his first five starts in the majors. So I went ahead and pulled up some of the numbers, actually, and, you know, comparing Ober and Mejia's first 20 starts and then Ryan and Romero's first five starts. You can see it's a legit comparison. And, you know, I will admit to kind of cherry-picking the Ober-Mejia stats. There are some uh, some other metrics that Ober destroys Mejia in uh, to where the, those aren't as concerning with him as they were with Mejia. There were some signs that Mejia was going to slow down that Ober doesn't have. And then with Ryan and Romero, obviously it's it's only five starts we're looking at, so not not too too much to look too deep into. But just wanted to put those out there in case you were uh, wondering at what the specific numbers looked like. And again, I'm not saying that just because those two guys fizzle out, that's going to happen to these guys. Completely different types of pitchers. But you know, it it it's worth mentioning too that those though Mejia and Romero were actually had bigger prospect profiles than Ober and Ryan do. That's one of the biggest reasons why pitching is so difficult to have feel like you have enough of it is because you know you have a guy and he looks like a piece and then all of a sudden a year later you're kind of left looking for something else now again uh, along with injuries. Uh, just, it's a, it's a tough league, you know, I feel bad for, for kind of going at this, but again, I feel like I have a, a twins fan side of me. Maybe that's feeling bad, but when I'm looking at it objectively, I feel like you can't take anything to the bank with these two guys. I mean, we shouldn't have to be counting on these guys to be, you know, basically top of the rotation type starters, savior type pitchers. I just don't think that that's the type of player pitchers these are. And it's unfair that basically the rest of the rotation is so empty right now that we have to pin so many hopes on these guys. It's not fair to them. And it, you know, it's, it's outside of their, their own personal careers and, and whatever, their own development. 
Um, but as Twins fans, we we do. We, we have to. I mean, what else are we, you know, hinging our hopes on right now? Once we get out of the lockout, it's going to be a lot of moves again. And I expect the trade market's going to open up a bit. Uh, this is definitely not going to be the opening day rotation, what the Twins have in-house. You know, what they're going to do remains to be seen. I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises to you that they're going to go out and add, you know, two impact starters or anything like that, but it's possible. There are guys on the free agent market I like still. It's very thin. Uh, a lot of guys signed before the lockout, but there are still a few guys I do like. And then, of course, the trade market. There, there's guys there definitely too. So we'll see what happens. But I just wish it would be nice, like, if um, if we were counting on Ober and Ryan to be, like, the four fifth guys. Um, and it like it wouldn't be seen as a disaster if they had to go back to AAA, you know, whether to be to work on some stuff or you know, sort of like Trevor Larnick last year. You know, he came up and he played well, and then he played poorly for so long that he got sent down. Um, you know, when the lineup is as competent as it is for the Twins, that's not really that big of a gut punch when when a prospect, a young guy, a rookie doesn't stick right away. If Ober or Ryan slide back it's going to absolutely devastate this team the way it's built right now that goes without saying so let me know what you think about ober and ryan let me know you know who who are your favorite guys that are still out there in the free agent market that have caught your eye uh, or guys you'd like to see the twins trade for thank you so much for checking this out it's been tom we'll talk again soon